MCP, the Model Context Protocol is the emerging standard that lets AI connect with your databases, tools, and cloud systems. I covered the basics before, but in this video, we are going to go deeper, step by step, into how MCP works, the risk it introduces, and how we can secure it for real enterprise use. Let's get started. At its core, MCP is a standard way for AI models to connect with external systems. Think of it like a universal adapter that lets large language models talk to databases, APIs, and enterprise tools in a structured and predictable way. Imagine asking your AI assistant, what were last quarter sales in Europe? Instead of digging through dashboards or SQL queries yourself, the AI could use MCP to directly talk to your company's sales database, run the query, and give you the right answer just like that. But the moment an AI starts interacting with production systems, databases, cloud servers, APIs, the stakes go way up. Who is the AI really acting as? What exactly can it access? And how do we monitor or audit what it's doing? That's exactly what we'll explore in this video. How MCP works, the security risk it introduces, and how identity-first solutions like Teleport Secure MCP bringing the access control, governance, and auditability you need for real enterprise use. And just so you know, this video is made in partnership with Teleport, and I'm impressed with how they are helping to make MCP secure, which we'll see shortly. Before USB became standard, connecting hardware to your computer was chaos. Every printer or camera had its own driver. USB standardized that. MCP does the same for AI, but with your enterprise systems. Why does this matter? because it turns AI from passive tool into an active participant in your infrastructure. Instead of just generating text, an AI can query a database for customer orders, open a Jira ticket for an outage, pull logs from the Kubernetes clusters, and even trigger cloud operations like scaling a server. Companies like GitHub, Notion, and Atlassian have rolled out MCP servers, so AI agents can plug directly into their platforms. But here is the flip side. MCP by itself is just plumbing. It doesn't care about who is asking or what they should be allowed to do. It's like a wide open highway for AI requests. That's powerful, but also dangerous. Because if an AI has the ability to query your sales database, what's stopping it from pulling all customer records instead of just the numbers it needs? Or what if prompt injection tricks it into deleting data instead of reading it? For example, Atlassian's MCP implementation had a flaw where attackers could inject forced inputs to gain unauthorized privileges. MCP was designed for functionality, not security. It's like a super highway for AI requests, but without traffic rules, speed limits, or checkpoints. MCP itself doesn't ask who is making this request and should they be allowed. If an AI agent is connected to your customer database, nothing in MCP prevents it from pulling every single record, not just the one it asked for. In many early deployments, engineer took the easy route. Give the AI a database login or API key with broad access. But that means the AI has standing privileges far beyond what it really needs. One clever prompt injection and suddenly that same AI could expose salary tables, delete records or share sensitive logs. Even if you trust your AI, you still need to prove what it did. Regulators and security teams need to know who accessed what, when, under which permissions. MCP doesn't provide an audit trail by default. If an AI delete rows from your database or leaks sensitive files, you may never know who or what triggered it. So the question is, how do we secure MCP without losing its benefits? And that's where identity for security and specifically Teleport Secure MCP come in. Every AI agent that interacts through MCP gets a real identity inside Teleport, just like an engineer or a service account. No more anonymous AI accounts or long-lived API keys floating around. Instead, Teleport uses short-lived certificates. These expire quickly, so even if they leak, they are useless. The result? Every single MCP action is tied to verified identity. Teleport also applies fine-grained access control to each MCP request. That means, before an AI can query a database, Teleport checks, is this identity allowed to do this? If the AI is acting on behalf of Alice, and Alice only has read-only rights on the sales reports table, then that's the only thing the AI can touch. If Bob, an intern, tries the same query, Teleport blocks it. 
The same principle works across systems, databases, Kubernetes, cloud APIs, anything behind MCP. And instead of giving AI agents permanent privileges, Teleport can grant temporary session-based access. For example, if an AI needs to query the database for Alice, it gets its credential valid only for that query or that session. Once the request is complete, the credential vanishes. This enforces least privilege and ensures the AI never carries standing access that could be misused later. Every action the AI takes through MCP is logged in Teleport's audit system. Who requested it, what resources touched, whether it was allowed or denied, all captured in real time. If there is ever an incident, you can trace exactly what AI action led to it. And finally, Teleport also ensures MCP communications are encrypted end-to-end -end using mutual TLS. It maintains an inventory of approved MCP servers, your official gateways to databases, tools, or APIs. That means the AI can only talk to vetted services through Teleport, blocking rogue or shadow MCP endpoints. Put simply, Teleport becomes a control plane for MCP. The AI may be the one asking the question, but Teleport decides whether it's allowed to act, issues the credentials, and records the outcome. And that's how enterprises can safely bring AI into production without losing control of their infrastructure. Let's walk through how this actually works in practice. We have got a simple sales database connected as an MCP server. Teleport is sitting in the middle as the control plane. The database has a product table. Roles are defined in Teleport. Analyst, a read-only, intern, no access, and a manager with read and write access. Alice, who is an analyst, asks her AI assistant, list all products in the electronics category under $100. The AI translates that into a SQL. That query follows through MCP, hits Teleport, and Teleport checks Alice's identity and role. She is allowed. Teleport issues a short-lived certificate, forwards the query to the database, and sends the result back. From Alice's perspective, she just got the answer from the AI. But behind the scenes, Teleport enforced RPAC and logged. Alice, via AI, queried products. Access granted. Now, Bob, an intern, tries the same question. The AI generates the same SQL, but this time, Teleport checks Bob's role. He is not authorized. Teleport blocks the query. The AI replies politely, Sorry, I'm not allowed to access that information. And Teleport logs, Bob, via AI, attempted to query products. Denied. Later, if a security engineer or auditor reviews activity, they can see a full trail of what happened. Alice's successfully query tied to her identity. Bob's denied attempt also tied to his identity. This gives both security and accountability. You know exactly who asked for what, even when it came through an AI. The same workflow applies if the AI tries to restart a Kubernetes pod, file a Jira ticket, or pull logs from a cloud service. Teleport mediates every step, ensuring the AI only operates with defined guardrails. When you're deploying MCP, a few best practices go a long way. Always tie AI actions to real identities instead of static super accounts. Enforce least privilege with RBAC or ABAC so agents can only access what they truly need. Make access ephemeral through short-lived credentials. And log every action, approved or denied, for auditing and compliance. On top of that, keep an allow list of MCP servers to prevent shadow integrations. And add human approvals for high-risk operations like rights to production databases. These basics ensure AI plays by the same rules as your engineers, reducing the blast radius if something goes wrong. With the right guardrails in place, you can let AI automate workflows, query systems, and boost productivity without losing control of your data. If you want to dive deeper, I'll leave a link below to explore how Teleport secures MCP in enterprise environments. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep building, but build securely.